Hi, it's Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser, and I'm back with more real bargains. These are the real stories from people like you who found something very valuable in a thrift store, antique store, yard sale, estate sale, wherever, flea market, and I want to tell you about them. All these folks have been in touch with me, and they've allowed me to retell their stories. Not using anybody's names. Let's get started right out of the chute. Here it is. A person who submitted a picture to my website. So went to the website and said, Dr. Lori, can you tell me about this? This particular piece, they've actually got the Salvation Army. And you know the thrift stores. You know how it is. All kinds of stuff from all over the place. Don't know what anything is. Some's in good condition. Some's not in good condition. Whatever it might be. Bought this at the Salvation Army. Looking at this piece, the first thing you should see in this piece, if you've been watching my videos, and I hope you're watching them, I hope you're sharing them, I hope you're subscribing. The first thing you should see in this piece is to say to yourself, wow, I want to look harder at that painting. I really like that frame. When you see those types of things and you want to look more at that painting, that's usually the sign of a good painting. This particular painting is done by an Atlanta-based local artist named Nancy Frank. Now, you may not know Nancy Frank. Nancy Frank, in this particular example, is a trained artist, did a lot of schooling in art and art history, and actually what she is doing here is she is copying a work of art or a type of, of still life by an artist named Paul Cezanne. Very, very typical. So when I saw this, I went, oh, that's a Paul Cezanne piece type of piece. And this particular piece is by that artist. So lots of good artists, contemporary and otherwise, will actually copy the work of the great masters. This piece is at the Salvation Army and my client says, well, Dr. Laura, you know what? I didn't know what it was. I don't know what it's worth. So can you help me? I paid $35 for it. It's a pretty big frame. It's pretty nicely done. And I thought maybe you could tell me more about it. So I find out that, of course, it's by Nancy Frank, the Atlanta artist. And I do some checking on her current sales records. I always give a retail value based on a sales record where a piece has sold, not just listings of pieces, right? I have to see an authenticated sales record. And guess what this piece is worth with the frame? Nancy Frank paintings like this sell for $4,000. That's what this one's worth. Want a real bargain? That's it. That's a real bargain. Oil on canvas, beautiful work of art. My next real bargain comes from an estate sale on a video call. So this person called me up. She said, Dr. Lori, I went to an estate sale and I saw this piece online. And this is a good point for a lot of you. Understand and try to learn how to identify good pieces when they're in a photograph online. I teach you that in, my, in many of my other videos, but make sure that if you're looking at all of these sites that have, of course, estate sales online, that you understand how to look for what's great. So this particular example is on, in an online auction. So she buys it. She buys it for $41. And she says, well, okay, now I have to go pick it up. So once she drives over and sees the actual home, she thinks, oh, I should have checked that estate sale online more because this is a beautiful home with beautiful pieces in it. This particular piece is a very nice piece. It's called Plassiware Majolica. Plassiware is a certain type of Majolica ceramic, and it's, of course, a fish dish. I love fish. You know I love fish. I collect fish. I love fish. I think fish are cool. This particular piece has all of these elements, applied ornament on top, right? So that idea of having sculpted elements that are then of clay that are then applied onto the dish. And the dish is a big serving presentation dish of Plassy Ware, of course, Majolica. It is signed. It's signed by the artist, and you can see the signature right here. It's signed by the artist, Francois Maurice. Francois Maurice, relatively well-known, of course, artist with respect to ceramics. And this piece, hold on to your hats, people, is a real bargain. She bought it for $41 online, went to the estate sale to pick, to pick it up, had me appraise it, it's worth $3,750. Ugh! Oh, my gosh, amazing. Now, many of you are looking at this and saying, but Dr. Lori, there's a little bit of uh, inclusion, a little bit of damage on it. I know there's a little bit of damage on it. They typically go for more than $3,750 in excellent condition. This one is still a real bargain. This next real bargain is so fun. It's all about a gift of two sisters. So I get a, a video call from one of the sisters who received this as a gift. She said, my sister bought this for me for Christmas, Dr. Lori. Do you think it's a good gift? I said, I think it's a great gift. Art's always a good gift. 
Jewelry's better, of course, but art's always a good gift. Um, so anyway, her sister bought this for her. She got it at the Goodwill bins. And you know the bins. The bins at Goodwill are, are a place to find some stuff. All of the thrift stores really are a place to find some great stuff. So her sister says, I want to buy this for you. I know you collect religious art. She said, I really love this piece. I think it's wonderful. I said, I think it's wonderful too. It has some areas where you could get, a, you need a frame on it to protect the canvas because the canvas is starting to buckle. You see a little stretcher depression. That's that, of course, that line at the top where the stretcher bar is. And it is, of course, a depiction of Mary and Joseph with the Christ child and St. John the Baptist as a child. Uh, St. John, the, of course, you see him, he's on a lamb, which is representative of the Lamb of God. The symbolism of, in Christianity is very important in the history of art, too. She said she loved it. I said, well, do you know that it's, it's South American? It's from the Cusco School of Peru, a school of artists who are active in the 18, 1800s and 1700s in Cusco, Peru. Peru. She said, no, I didn't know that. I knew it was quite good. I thought it was something from South America, but I wasn't sure. So I said, well, do you have any idea what your sister paid? She said, I do. She told me because she doesn't collect art. So she wanted me to know how much she was willing to pay to make sure that she was getting a good deal before she did that. And then I said, I liked it. And she said, I'd give it to you for Christmas. Her sister paid $22. It's a real bargain. What's it worth? The Cusco School Holy Family with John the Baptist is worth $2,200. That's a real bargain right from the Goodwill bins. So you've got to go looking. You've got to go hunting. Another client of mine is a priority member. The priority service, of course, where people will get in touch with me and have unlimited exchanges with me to ask questions, to get appraisals, whatever it is, over a particular subscription time period. And speaking of subscriptions, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share too. It will help you and it will help me too. My priority member found this particular piece and she found this piece as she was going through, in fact, the thrift store. And she said, well, Dr. Lori, I liked it. I thought it was cute. It was just sitting there. Didn't really know what material it was. And I said, well, it's ceramic. And a lot of artists will work first in ceramic. They'll sort of work out the kinks. And then they'll create a wax or a clay model. And then that model will be cast in bronze or another metal. And that's pretty typical for sculptors. And she said, well, it is signed. I said, it's signed actually by John Turkin. And John Turkin is a relatively well-known 20th century sculptor. She said, I think it's beautiful. He's adorable. He's sitting there just reading the book. It's a wonderful sculpture. I said, it is a wonderful sculpture. She said, so I got it. I decided that I was going to, in fact, buy it. She said, it was $5 at the thrift store. $5 at the thrift store, it's worth $1,000 a relatively well-known artist, a beautiful work of art. It's not the bronze. If it were bronze, it probably would be worth somewhere between three and $5,000. But this is the clay model, a beautiful piece and a real bargain too. The Priority Ask Dr. Lori service brings a lot of people, of course, who find real bargains. So don't forget to, in fact, check that out the next time you're on the website. My next real bargain comes from a video call. And the video call is um, from a woman who said, I was going home to the Midwest to visit my family. And I was visiting my family and my dad had to take the dog for a walk. So I thought, oh, I'll take a walk with my dad. So she goes out, she takes a walk. They're walking around the neighborhood and they go down the street outside of their neighborhood and they see, in fact, a trash can full of all kinds of stuff. And, she's, he, and her father says to her, oh, you remember the woman who, who lived here? We knew her. And in fact, she's moving. So this must be some of her stuff. So walking by with the dog, sniffing around, looking at the trash. And she said, you know, Dr. Lori, I saw this painting and I thought, wow. She said, I should take a closer look. So she goes up to where the painting is, sort of leaning against the trash can. She moves it over. She looks in the back and she sees this label. And I want to talk to you about this label. This particular label is a label you may find on a lot of works of art. And having spent a lot of my career in museums, labels mean a lot of different things. This particular label says that this work of art was once at the University Art Gallery at the University of Minnesota. Interestingly enough, it gives you the artist's name, okay, and the title of the work, okay, the donkey cart. It also tells you the date of the work, and it says withdrawn. 
When it says withdrawn, that means that the work was either withdrawn from the exhibition or deaccessioned out of the collection. So it might have been that this work of art was loaned by this woman who's now moving and getting rid of the art. It was probably loaned to the exhibition. And then at some point it was withdrawn out of the exhibition for whatever reason. Maybe she decided that she wanted it in her house for an event or whatever it might have been. So the label can tell you a lot. My client said to me, hey, Dr. Laura, you know what? I recognize the label. I didn't really know all the specifics about the label that you just taught me, but I figured out that that means something. So I took it. It was free. It was trash. I took it. So I took it and I brought it to my house and I knew that you would be able to help me identify it. It's about 25 by 38 inches. It's a beautiful work by an artist excuse me, by an artist named Robert Van Sewell, and he is Robert Van Voor Sewell, and he is, in fact, a relatively well-known artist in the Midwest in the middle part of the 20th century. Value on the piece? Well, she got it for zero, you know, zero out of the trash. It's worth $2,500 out of the trash. That's a real bargain. It's a nice composition. It's re re relatively large and it has a nice plain frame. Sometimes the frames that aren't over overwhelming are going to be the best frames for a work of art. This is a nice painting too and perfect from the trash. And this next real bargain comes from a flea market. One of my video callers actually got in touch with me about a piece that she found at the flea market. So she's at the flea market, she's walking around, she's looking around and she sees this piece. And this particular piece is a little Christmas tree. And you know how these pieces are at different times of the year, you're a little bit more drawn to something. If it were July, you might not be drawn to the Christmas tree, right? So it's a glass Christmas tree, it's iridescent glass. And she looks at it and she says, well, it's a good price at three bucks, but do I really need it? It's kind of nice, but do I really need it? It has the original label on it. It's Fenton. It's nice glass. It's nicely made. It's about six inches tall. It's cute and I could add it to my Christmas decor, but do I really need it? So she looks at it. She considers it. She ponders it. She puts it back. Now all of you are going, oh no, don't put it back. That's what I was saying. Don't put it back. If you have that gut feeling, go with your gut. You know, it's like, you know, the test, you know, A is the right answer, circle A for God's sakes. But you know, the idea here was she walked away. So she walked away, she put it back. She goes around the other parts of the flea market and she's thinking about it and thinking about it. And she thinks, oh gosh, I hope it's still there. And she wants it. So she hopes it's still there. So she's trying to get back to that place in the th flea market to see if that piece is still there. It's a very nice piece of iridescent glass. And you can see, of course, the way in which it's made, that it makes the shape of the Christmas tree. It's not all that big big and overwhelming and it has the all important makers label on it. So the label is important too. All of us are ready to pull off those labels, pull off those tags, try to keep those intact. It's a good idea. She finds it. She decides, well, I don't need it, but I do want it. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? And she decided that she was going to actually keep it. Also, when you're looking at these pieces of glass, I want you to look at the bottom. I want you to see, of course, what's, what's happening in the bottom of these pieces because the bottom, particularly of glass pieces like Fenton, will tell you a lot about how it was made and how it was cared for over time. Well, it's a real bargain for her $3 investment. Value on it, $250. So that was a real bargain. It's a good thing she went back. <laughs> This next real bargain comes from someone who submitted pictures through my Priority Ask Dr. Lori service. So this particular um, picture, this set, was actually acquired at a thrift store and it was acquired and it was acquired by one of my clients. So she gets it at a thrift store, she likes it, and she gets all four of them. A complete set, of course, of the Fab Four, the Beatles. And this is a set of color prints from the mid 1960s of the Beatles. Each individual, right? So it's, it's Ringo and Paul and John and George. And you can see each individual one with a signature, with the artist's signature on it too, and the date. The artist is a Hollywood portrait artist named Nicholas Volpe, very well known in the 1960s. And he creates these particular pieces and you could only get them through mail order. So you had to mail away for them if you wanted them. They're in their original frames. That's how my client found them, in their original frames from the 1960s. So they're a wonderful collectible and they fall into multiple categories. They of course are 
uh, Beatles collectibles, they're also fine art collectibles, they're print collectibles, and they're mid-century modern 60s collectibles. So lots going on with these. She looks on the back, she says they're framed pretty well. The back looks nice and clean and tight. That means that those frames are actually tight on their mitered corners, which is important, which means that the print is not moving too much on the inside, which is good. So in good condition, and that's always a value indicator. She bought all four of them, get ready for this. She bought all four of them for $8. That's two bucks a piece. Even I can do that division math, right? Two bucks a piece for them at $8. What are they worth? $400 for the set or $100 each. Now I told her, don't break up the set. If you want to resell them, resell them, of course, as a group. The Fab Four are always a good collectible option. So that was a real bargain too. I'm Dr. Lori. I hope you enjoyed this version of Real Bargains, and I hope that we'll see you next time, that you'll share the channel, that you'll watch the videos, you'll subscribe too, because you'll learn a lot right here. You'll get the real deal right from the real expert. And I hope that you find your next Real Bargain real soon. See you next time.